Okay then, Chris. So firstly, really, really pleased to see the way you were hitting your irons there. Great to see you come from like less than a month or so ago to now be a different golfer completely. So looking at the driver now, yeah, it's going to take a little bit more practice probably just in terms of the distance you're at the golf ball and your club head speed. It doesn't take a lot, an impact to be a lot out, to be a lot out when that ball goes down the fairway or curving off one with the tree. So set it wide is good now. Ball position obviously towards that left here and you're getting a little bit of spine angle there nicely behind the ball. The feeling now, if you did this sort of drill on the left-hand one now with the sort of the wall drill, as you go back, obviously at the fullest backswing here, okay, so you could go a little bit more with your arms, but you can see when you take the top of the backswing now, there's some spine angle lean here now. As you unwind back in the golf ball, this is going to be where you're going to have to try trying to find a feeling as to whether you feel your left shoulder going up or your right shoulder going down or your hip going towards the wall, or your knee going towards the wall. There's lots of moving parts, and I think really for you, when you do this drill, hopefully as many times as possible, and after what you talked about with your, your practice sessions with your irons, I'm sure your work ethic will be really good with this. You've got to find a, a body part that you can just sort of identify with to get that sensation. So when you come into impact now, if we clear all these lines away, you've got that kind of nice angles and lines there that sort of reverse k we talked about with the impact so the club head and the hands have all matched up back to the golf ball club face now nice and square and then obviously through the golf ball then you'd be rotating through head will be sort of moving to sort of somewhere around about here so that's gonna be the practice we know and to be fair as we said the, the contact was different it didn't feel great and you weren't really quite getting the sweet spot as much as you'd obviously like but ultimately, you weren't coming down quite as steep. Some of the feelings you said you had with the irons, even with the driver, that you were putting pressure into that left knee. So when you got to the top of the backswing here, there was almost that distinct kind of shift from here down into the goal. Which I say, it's great with the irons and can really help you sort of compress and strike the irons really well. And when you've got loft in your, in your hands, you can get away with a slightly de-lofting effect. This is why some of the shots you were hitting, you were hardly hitting them with any effort at all and still producing a good amount of distance because the loft was slightly de -loft. obviously with the driver, we haven't got that much loft to play with. So staying back behind the golf ball, again, a nice shift with the lower half here, head staying back and unwinding nicely. For me, this was actually a pretty good movement there. It's just a question of you sort of making this movement now repeatedly, keeping that head behind the ball, keeping that spine angle, as we can see, behind to that right side. And just with a bit of practice, sort of finding the sweet spot. What you did find, the launch angle was a lot better. You weren't popping them up in the air really, really high. You were finding more kind of the middle part of the club in terms of across the face. Some were a bit healy, some were a bit toey, but they weren't off the top part of the club getting that kind of roofy effect or trying to adjust to that and then sort of thinning them off the bottom groove. So you were kind of the right angle of attack, just not quite finding the sweet spot. But as we said, obviously swinging from a different position to what you were used to. I mean, you could almost see your reaction when you first got into that position initially. It felt really, really strange being that far back behind the goal. So it will take a bit of time. As I said, I'm sure with your practice and work ethic, you'll be there in no time at all. So get a good sort of movement there with that body, staying behind the ball. And then obviously just your follow through will be kind of as it was. So uh, hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously give me a shout and I'll catch up with you sometime soon. Cheers, Chris.